what's up everybody welcome back to another vidadio today we're going to be looking at a video by a guy by the name of uh imad or imad or i'm gonna say imad magician i saw one clip of him before and i have to say seemed like cap seemed like a lot of cap i'm just saying didn't seem like there's any way to do this for real so we're gonna look at kind of like this compilation of a bunch of his different tricks and videos and we'll you can decide you can decide if it's cap or not maybe we should call this cap ma magic cap or, cap or not cap or not magic cap or not we'll go with cap all right puts the cloth over his body already weird kind of camera movement All right, all right. I'm I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say this trick is cat. <laughs> I film a lot of magic and I've done some special effect stuff. And there's this kind of weird camera movement that you get, like this artificial camera movement when you have like an establishing shot already and you're trying to make it look like the camera's panning. So I'm gonna say this is 100% camera tricks. The cut was done pretty well. I don't know. It seems very weird. There's this one moment. Let me see if I can find it. At the very bottom. Watch the watch the shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna go back first. I'm gonna go forward, forward, forward. Now there's no shadow. So the cloth is still here, but there's no more shadow. 100% proof. This trick is cat. We got him, guys. We got him. Still looks pretty good though. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so this is the trick that I saw. Now I'm not gonna lie. This is a dope premise for a trick. If anybody wants to make a method and then send it to me so I could do it, I'd be be very happy. All right, let's let's, let's just get into it. Okay. Can you see the shadow? Mm -hmm. The shadow of your hands, of my hands? Can you see the shadow? Yeah. Okay, when I say one, two, three, take your hands away. One, two, three. <laughs> see, look, not for nothing, that is sick. That is a sick premise for a trick. But... I think it's cat. Okay, what is it? One, two, three. Take your hands away. One, two, three. You see, like, there's some, there's just something about the way things happen that it just looks artificial. Watch the shadows. Don't watch her hands. Just watch the shadows. Can you see the shadow? Mm -hmm. The shadow of your hands, of my hands? Can you see the shadow? Okay, what is it? One, two, three. Take your hands away. One, two, three. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Very, it looks sick. It looks sick, but I'm calling Cap. Man. I'm calling Cap. And it's funny because this trick uses shadows. The last trick should have had a shadow. I don't know, I'm just saying. Next to me, next to me. Yeah. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes. Yeah. Hey! Oh, <laughs> man! Hey! <laughs> Yeah. All right, now that, that that's not cap. That's actually a trick that was put out a, a bunch of years back. I actually I always wanted to do. It. I always wanted to do a trick like that. I never did, but that is an actual trick. He is actually doing that. So so far, two cap, one real. So all right, not for, not bad. Yeah. Whoa! Where's my money? Where's my money? You want to get your money back? Yeah, look, 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 look. Sorry, that's work. <laughs> Calling cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling hey. cap on that. Let's watch oh. it again. Look. Okay, here it is. You see the way the bill flips up? That's really weird, man. That is really weird. But what's even more weird is how this guy doesn't see right into his hand right there. Like I get doing tricks for the camera, but I mean, come on, man. Like this guy's looking right into the hand to see what's happening right there. <laughs> Whoa. It looks clean though. Like it Where's does look clean for whatever he's doing. Where's my money? But you want to get your money back? Yeah. Look, 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 look. 
so it does work. <laughs> yeah, I think there is a method for it, and it, it probably is just a camera trick, which is fine, but there's no way that guy was like, oh my God, this changed. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's no cap with that. That he's actually doing that. That I mean, there's something, but it's not like a camera trick or nothing. And those other people might have been in on it. It might have not. There is a setup for it, but let's let's keep going. So far, it seems like some of the tricks he's doing, the, the methods could be real, and then other ones are just straight up camera tricks. And then there's a few actual. So it's like this mix of cap, mid cap. Maybe we'll call it a a trucker cap and then and then like the full full trick let's see what, what this next one is oh here we go what Holy here we go you see this this is the, the the magic of yif remember that guy yif that was doing the bread thing and he got called out for it now we have imad doing the the yif let's let's take a look at that again hey. Look, look, come on, man. Come on. Let's be real. What? Oh, I saw it already. Holy we'll take a look in a second. All right, we're going to backtrack here because I literally saw it. Okay, watch right here. I'm going to go frame by frame, and you're going to see whoever edited it glitched a little. So here we go. There it is. You see it glitching a little? There it is. You see that? His hands just kind of changing right there. It, it doesn't seem like a lot, but those are the giveaways of rotoscoping if you don't have your feathering down right. So if you don't know what rotoscoping is, it's a technique that's used in like After Effects to do things. So let's just watch it again full speed. But yeah, this one is definitely cap. What? Holy watch the car. Yeah. By the way, guys, I have my Series 1 prototypes here. I'm going to be sending them out to a few people. So you're going to be seeing some things about this. The pre-sale is still open for this. You can go to no1.shop and get the cards on pre-sale. And there's going to be things that I'm going to be giving away to people who order in a pre-sale that I'm not announcing. I might announce some of it later, but I'm just giving you a heads up. There's going to be some free stuff for you guys for supporting early. Um, go to no1.shop. We have some new things in there that are a little bit different, you know, like some mouse pads and things like that, that I think you guys will be into. So go check it out. I appreciate the support and go get some series one playing cards because there's a lot that's going into this that has to do with the cards and more. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So let's get back to this guy, Imad. Mm. What? <laughs> okay. You see, oh I have this trick and lots of magicians have this trick. And if you have this trick, you know exactly how it works and you know exactly why this is cat <laughs> right here. And you know why she's not impressed for real. Watch the car. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. I'm gonna use... Uh, you know... There's a, 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 a guy named uh, Kevin Perry who's on Instagram and YouTube, and he's like a still motion video guy. He's amazing. He does amazing things. And he put out this video like 10 different genres of magic where this cup was changing and vanishing and it looked amazing. And I actually just messaged him about it because I thought it was so dope. He's not like pretending that he's really doing this stuff right he knows what he's doing is for the camera and i think camera magic is okay in the right context but this i just think is a little overboard because he's almost making it seem like he's got these powers but his only power is really the power of editing and it kind of kind of sucks to me i think if it was just that kind of stuff it'd be okay but to have people next to him, like if he's walking around the street doing this stuff, I think kind of takes away from it. But let's keep going because let's see what this is about. No, 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 
see. Now, I'm gonna say something right now. I'm gonna say. Let's just watch it again, and just pay attention to his hands, okay? Because just the way he is right here is already telling me that he's holding something, and he's literally gonna show it to this dude right here, okay? So. I use the four emails. Watch. Fire. Okay. So he literally watched him do the thing and he sees that he has something. No, 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 no. Right. Um, this is the easy method. Water. The water. You see, I, I'm telling you, if you understood a little bit of video editing, no, 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 you would no, 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 no. see right. what I'm seeing. But watch this arm right here. Like, it doesn't look right. You see how it looks like water splashing his hand? You see what I mean? But they they edit it out. You see, there are methods for these things, but they can't work with somebody standing behind you. Let's just watch it one more time, and you guys make the decision. Watch. Fire. No, 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 no. Right. Now, I'm going to tell you, out of everything he did, I think the earth part was like the only thing the guy may not have seen until he finished and then he saw how he how he did it because he kind of shows how he did it if you look close enough he flashes see it's like a short edit oh man you have the spirits it's not magic it's the spirits you have the devil <laughs> so yeah i'm just saying all right let's keep going that's cap two <laughs> That, that could be legit. I think that is actually legit. Now, oh my god, let's just watch this. I, it's, uh, I need to chill. Oh my god! What's <laughs> <laughs> good? Concentrate on the one. Though. What do you guys think, Cap? I'm calling Cap. I'm calling Cap right away. Because look at how he's holding his cell phone. You know anybody that holds their cell phone like this? Anyone? No? All right, let's just watch it again. Oh my God! What's <laughs> <laughs> good? No, it's hard for me to say if magicians should be doing stuff like this right because you know in some res in some ways this is tv magic and i understand that it's tv magic right you know people always say well you can't do it in real life well i mean depends on the situation right like david copperfield does grand illusions he can't do them close up does that mean that it's not valid no i think it's valid some of the stuff he's using and he's doing and some other magicians may not be happening right there and that's okay right because it's about the experience and i understand this is tv magic so maybe i'm being too harsh and maybe i need to understand with that same kind of thought process that this is for television this isn't for the people on the television does that make sense let me know if you agree with me but i think that's how i'm going to start looking at this but just going in line with the video we're going to finish off the video with the whole cap no cap stuff but I think I need, and all of us need to understand that when we see stuff like this, this is for TV. This isn't for the people watching. And that's what it's about, right? It's for the people watching, not the people who are there, part of it, whatever. You know, th th there's like an ethics argument as to should you be doing it because, you know, the magic, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, 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 I hold to the idea that there are there's magic that's made for different venues you can't do close up on stage you can't do stage close up necessarily all the time depending on the illusion the props the setup and i don't think that makes stage magic less valid close up magic less valid and in this case tv magic less valid so let's keep going here but i mean he is going a little overboard with some of the editing stuff wait on the one dollar uh -huh. okay one two what? Oh, right, that looks sick. What? <laughs> sorry. Ah, oh, that's great. That's okay. actually really dope. 
That's actually really dope. Uh, the masking is actually no. really dope. What the oh uh, I didn't care for that trip too much, but whatever. All right. I don't know about this snake one, man. I don't know about this snake one. Wow. If that is... I mean, that's got to be a camera what? trick, obviously, but wow, that was great. Maybe it's not a camera trick, to be honest. You want to know something? That actually might be a real trick. Oh. No. It's a camera trick. It looks good, though. It looks good. But my question, you know, like, it's one of those things where you see it happen and then you go, how come nobody else is reacting? <laughs> like, how is it he's doing this wide in the open in the streets and nobody else is reacting to this? You know what I mean? That was kind of a bad cut. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's not good editing. I'm sorry. Look at his face. Look at his face. That is the face of an edit. <laughs> It looks like his face shrunk there. You see that? See how his face shrunk? Watch. Bam. Shrinks. His whole body changes. It's a good it's a good looking trick, but yeah. It's this is cat. I don't, I don't even need you guys to tell me his cat. Let's watch it again though. It does look sick. Sick idea for a trick. Now I gotta say, it is a sick idea for a trick, right? So maybe what we can get from this is how do we actually get a method for this stuff? Because it is sick. It is sick. It is a sick effect. Well, that's it. That's the end of it. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below what you think. Do you think it's cap? Do you think it's not? Do you like it? Don't you? Tell me what you think about my arguments about TV magic and stage magic. Have a little, uh, you know, talk in the, in the comments below. Let me know what you think. That's going to be the end of the video. I appreciate all you guys. And I'll see you guys very soon. Go check out no one.shop. A peace out.